An important federal survey is being conducted by the Department of Housing and Urban Development to help our local homeless population. Our Madeline Salinas caught up with the person in charge of that survey for our area and joins us now live in the studio to tell us about what the data from that survey may mean for the city's homeless population. Madeline. Leslie, this point in time count happens all around the country. Kyle Knutson with the Corpus Christi Salvation Army tells 3 News that this survey is crucial for figuring out what the local homeless population needs. The annual point in time count is a survey conducted by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The goal is to get a count of both sheltered and unsheltered people experiencing homelessness on a single day. Salvation Army Service Manager Kyle Knutson oversees the point in time count in Corpus Christi. The idea of the point in time count is to spread awareness, engagement with all, all individuals living on the streets and in shelters to try to find out resources, what they need to get to know them. Um, it's really a, a cool thing to go out and, and get to know that population because a lot of times they're misunderstood. While conducting the survey around the city, 70 volunteers carried bags with toiletries and snacks while also providing them with homeless resource guides. Knudsen says the results of this survey can bring in federal funding to help out the homeless population. Um, and it's just basic questions. How long have you been homeless? Very, very simple questions. And the idea is just to get, like I said, a snapshot of, their, of the situation. It's, it's ver no information as far as the identities they are given or anything like that. It's really just to get a number of the homeless individuals that are out there on the streets and in our shelters. Results from the survey could potentially help out the city's homeless population in the same way the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs will be helping the Nueces Center for Mental Health and Intellectual Disabilities. The MHID recently received over $270,000 from the department to provide services to those who are homeless or could potentially become homeless by helping with rent and utilities. It is very beneficial to the community that we provide for. When we receive the funds, we like to help our, all the individuals that we do work with. And so providing this type of assistance is even better just because it, it shows what we are able to do for our community, especially the homeless population. Now those funds that the Nueces Center for Mental Health and Intellectual Disabilities received will be available to those who are already in their services. For those who aren't currently using their services, their PATH Homeless Program also provides case management, case management services to individuals who are homeless. We'll have a link to that with more information along with this story at k